Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals and I'm here to memory plan the month of June in my standard vertical neutral planner. Um, so I've got this kit from Planner Face. I do PR for Planner Face so you can use Tilly 10 to save 10% off your um, goodies um, and you can mention me for an extra freebie as well. I also have some flags from Josephine Bow Designs and some various functionally stuff from my shop in hollow or silver foil. Um, and then all of the washies I'm using except this one and this one. These ones are all from Simply Gilded. This one is from Planner Face and this one is from Fox and Cactus. So that is what we are working with. So without any further ado, let's get straight on and um, fill in the week, start filling in the month. So the main issue here is that um, June starts on a Monday, which because I reorder my days, um, it makes putting down the base of the kit much much harder because um, she because um, it makes it harder to know where to put things so what I tend to try and do is line things up properly um, it doesn't always work for me but it sometimes does so we're going to give it a go and see what happens um, but it may not work out i do need to this is like one of the only things that i can't i really struggle to do with my planner the right way up is getting these monthly kit bases down once i've got the base down i'm perfectly fine for the rest of the month but um the base i really really struggle with at least particularly like your first sticker because your other ones have to like line up based on your first sticker so it's really important that your first one is perfect and then the others can sort of work from there. This is made even harder by the fact I don't use the Sunday start strips that come as standard in the um, spread. I use the uh, Monday start which come as a special and I think does this, I can never remember whether this lines up exactly or whether you have a tiny bit of a gap but it'll be fine. Um, so then I need my Monday start strips which are here. Um, I do tend to try and tip out the days just because they are a bit dark and in fact this line as well because it doesn't quite cover the whole line I don't think um, so do that and then hopefully this will line up properly but you never know and to be honest that just went down and I'm not going to try and move it so that's going to have to do um, as for the other side, I don't have anything to mark on the Monday either, which makes things more difficult. What about on the Monday and Thursday are the two days that week, I don't have anything to mark, which actually in some ways makes it easier, in some ways it makes it harder, because it means that I don't have to anything to like line up against, but it also means that it won't be as obvious if um, I'm off with my lining up, um, because, well, there's nothing to compare it directly against. So swings and roundabouts really on that one and I don't have a ruler. So I just grabbed a ruler to cut off these two strips. I do just do rubbish YouTubing stuff and cut on the page which I really shouldn't do because I'm definitely going to cut through onto my planner and be really upset at some point. But that's future Tilly's problem and I haven't put my other strip down so I don't have anywhere. Ugh. Hot mess, hot mess, hot mess express. Once we know that there's like a hair at the top of the page, hopefully this will go down a better. If we just leave a hair at the top of the page again. And that is very definitely wonky. But I think I'm probably just going to leave it there because it's premium matte and I don't want that risk of screwing it up. So we'll just grab the I haven't tipexed out these, so much tipex required. Kind of prefer my new planner in terms of that, much less tipex required. So again, just pop this strip down and that should be the base done. And we can move on to the day by day. There we go. That is fine. I feel like this planner, there's always like this awkward gap at the bottom that, that isn't at the top and I don't understand why they designed the planner like that. It seems very odd to me. But anyway, moving on. Let's 
start sticking it down stuff. I'm gonna lay out my sheets so I can see what I need or what I want rather. And um, so we're gonna start off on the second marking that I was late home from work, which doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's really annoying. Oh, I need to mark that my sister was here some of the time, so that's actually something I should maybe do first. So my sister came from the 16th to the 18th, which I think I will mark with this planner face washi, um, which is those three days there. And then she again came, did she arrive on the 29th, I think? Um, and then left later, oh my god. Why am I struggling so hard with that? That's better. We'll get there in the end. So that's for the first time she came to stay. And then she also came for this night. Well, actually, she stayed after this ended. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to put it, like, over the two boxes. Cut off of both sides because she stayed, like, till the Friday of this week um, which is actually the week I am currently in when I'm filming this because I try and film ahead there we go um, so that's for those two so back to what I was doing so that's that and then on the Wednesday I did a locum night shift um, which I think might need a half box size thing I don't know why I'm going to use a half box size thing for it because it's not that exciting that I did a locum night shift but it's partly because of the stickers I did and um, I pulled out so because I've got like a big night shift um, sticker I kind of want to mark it in bigger and I've got the dollar sign because you get bare dollar for doing locum night shifts um, and then underneath I'm just going to pop in if it will fit if not, I will see what else will fit, which it won't. Um, maybe something. Let's try a half. Yeah, half chevron fits. Um, to mark in playing D and D with some friends. With a D20. And then on the Friday, I want to mark that I was absolutely exhausted. I think I'm going to use the flag for that. So I'm just going to pop that in there. Ooh, I can let it in that I was exhausted. Saturday, we got an agreement in principle for purchasing our house um, for our mortgage. So that's what's going to be marked on Saturday. Then Sunday, me and my mum made a, a giant Cinnabon. It was great. <laughs> it was absolutely huge and super excessive, but it, it was fantastic as well. Um, so I know that's pancakes, not Cinnabon, but it will do. The following week, on the Saturday, we viewed, that, viewed the house we actually went on to buy. <laughs> so I think that can have a... Mm, no, I'm going to save that for the Tuesday, actually. And I'm going to put it in for the Tuesday now. That's going to be for the... As actually, like, getting our offer accepted on the house. Instead, on the 12th, I'm going to use a quarter box and a flag. I think maybe even a foiled flag so the the first box is just going to be for general house viewings and then I'm going to use a foiled um, pink flag probably oh no actually there's this nice little orange and then it's a bit extra because it's got the star and stuff for the flag and that will work well with a little heart yep and then I don't know why I'm working backwards but I am on the Friday, had a super busy day, and I think I'm gonna pull the box on this one down to the bottom. Let's maybe not line that up quite so badly, so that I can fit a full box between these two days. So that's just in there to mark that being a busy day. The Thursday we had no, the Wednesday, we had a family Zoom call. Um, we do regular family Zoom calls, but still, I like to mark them in because they're important and they're like a special part of my day. So, um, I quite do want to mark them in anyway. Then on the Tuesday, oh God, I just ripped this sticker in half. That was not ideal. 
Let's try that again. There we go. Um, so then on the Tuesday I was down because the house we were in love with sold. Um, we hadn't seen it. It was, yeah, we got overly invested before we should have done and it sold and it was really our own fault for getting so invested so early but we did and it was too late by that point to say well that was silly but it was silly so I'm going to mark that and also that we played D&D &D and have another game night um, so that's what the flag is for um, but we weren't our heads weren't really in D&D &D, to be honest um, we were a bit like meh about the house so this box here is for the agree uh, from for getting the offer accepted on the house and on the 13th which says it's the 14th but isn't we're going to pop in this sticker to say that we did some more house viewings there on the wednesday i want to mark in having cuddles with my nephew poo i don't think i've ever said nephew poo before in my life that was a bit odd um, so just gonna pop in a flag with his little sticker to represent him and then the 18th I want to mark everything that went on with Erin Condren and that situation um, because obviously that massively impacted both on my day and my feelings that day um, so that's there and then my future plans with planning the 20th was Father's Day and we did a family beer festival these two days and then I bought um, my, I made my um, Erin Condren replacement, I made my, um, and then on the Sunday I also made my A5 wide planner, um, so that was pretty good and I think rather than I was going to mark the beer festival on both separate days but I think what I might do is I might just put this flag here and put like that washi to mark being the beer festival those two days mostly because on the Sunday I want to mark that it was Father's Day Ow. and I think if I use this flag day sticker I can cover up where it says flag day with the Father's Day like that and then I can use a flag if we use a non-kit flag again in fact no let's use a hexagon let's use a hexagon outline for um, making it my new planner my new A5 wide and then that is that day if we then jump down to the 27th I did lots and lots of de that day and um, carried on on that day but um that's the when the majority of it happened. I'm gonna mark that in and then I need to turn my piece of paper over because I need to see the other side of it. And then on this day I want to mark in that we like actually completed the paperwork for our mortgage application. Um there. So that will do nicely. And the last few days, um on the 22nd we did more game night with D and D, d and I thought for this I would grab one of the different coloured strips of washi, pop that, in fact I'm going to pop it at the top rather than the bottom, pop the game night script sticker over it, hmm, maybe that should be to one side, premium mat off premium mat, yay that actually went surprisingly well, I did not expect that to go so well and put the D20 to the side of it. Then on the Wednesday, I want to mark our, in our appointment. So we had our telephone appointment for the mortgage application on the Wednesday. Um, so that's there. And also that a woman was being really, really difficult and trashed the place and made a night shift awful at all work. Um, like made everybody's a night shift awful. It was not fun not best of fun and then these two days i want to mark that we i had annual leave and on this day i did a lot of baking and i'm not actually sure that will all fit in so i might i know it sounds dumb but i think i might put the baking on the day before 
just because that way I actually have a space to mark it. So I'm actually going to pull the sticker right down to the bottom of the day and put that at the top and then for the annual leave if I grab an appointment label I think that will work to go at the top of the day and then I can use this little peeking munchkin on the next day <laughs> I lied little happy munchkin there with an annual leave script when I can peel it off and you'll leave it there and then on the next day if we just grab another appointment label in a different colour yep just pop that in want it the other way around though because I have a peeking munchkin that needs to peek from this side munchkin happy peeking munchkin there and annual leave in there then last but not least we just need to mark in these um my sister being here is so if i grab the flags from the if i grab this flag for the purple washi i'm um, just going to pull it along a little bit and then i grab the pink one caught down here and again just pull it along a bit and then I will write in my sister being here on the flags and then just got the stickers for it as well and that is really all my plans so next thing to do is to try and fit in the four boxes and um, the decorative four boxes and these are the there are some really really gorgeous florals in this month's so I am just going to try and fit all of them in if I can but I'm just not sure that's actually going to happen it might because there is actually more space than there often is um, but it still might not because there are loads and loads of decorative boxes in Anna's kits um, I think you can have like up to eight boxes or something so um, I'm just going to fit in as many as humanly possible possible which may or may not be all of them so i just want to apologize for the fact that there has just been a weird jump and you haven't missed a load of things well but missed me putting the full boxes and the washi down i think um and now the date dots which i've just finished i was having a little black lives matter rant about people that are so privileged that they can't see their privilege um but you've missed all of that uh, i will try and summarize it again in a few seconds but i just thought I would apologise for the weird jump that you've just had, it is very annoying to me, my camera died um, and it doesn't save sometimes when it does that and it's really really irritating and if I was not in such a mood I would be angrier than I am um, but it's just not worth me getting worked up about right now so I'm trying not to let it So I was saying, one of my um, friends posted a status about Black Lives Matter and then a person that she knows started commenting on it about how um, she finds the phrase white privilege really racist and um, that she didn't think she had white privilege. Um, it was really unfair phrase to use and things like that um to the point that i explained a load of um ways that she does have white privilege and her response was yeah but i have one of these problems in my life so i said something about um black people are more likely to grow up in broken homes um and she said yeah i broke grew up in a broken home and I turned out fine sort of completely negating and ignoring everything else that I had said about things being more likely to happen um, and one of the other things I said was about people dying more likely to die in childbirth um, if you were black and she said yeah maybe in third world countries I was like no in the UK in America um, you are more likely to die if you are having a baby and she just would not accept that these things were pure statistical fact and 
it was really really frustrating um to the point my friend the mutual the friend who status it was eventually said look you're clearly not listening to word we're saying so we're just gonna have to stop talking about this because you're not listening and there's no point having this conversation um which was really really mature of her and she does sometimes watch my videos um so you know who you are and i'm so proud of how you handled that entire situation but seriously challenge people because yeah we might not have made a difference to that person but there are other people who will read that and take it in and it will have been educated from our comments even if that woman wasn't and sometimes you also have to know when to walk away because people just are not gonna listen see reason see sense and they're just gonna be rude and there's just yeah you should challenge their beliefs but you also have to accept that you can't change everyone's mind okay so that is the finished spread little viv wiggle for you there it is absolutely beautiful i'm sorry that you missed me putting some of the stuff down but i hope you still enjoyed this video it seems like it's going to have been a pretty short one i don't know why i was so speedy um I'm kind of on a ball with filming videos today i filmed two and the other one was like more speedy than usual as well so yeah that's all i've really got for today i'm not showing you doing these pages because i just want to sit and do them in my own time i haven't even pulled the photos out yet um but i will do but yeah that's all i've got for you today love how the washi looks i love this kit this artwork is just everything and it's stunning and yeah hope to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye